very humbled to have won this award because there are so many amazing women in the water industry. But what I think is really interesting is that we think it's unusual to have women leaders in the water sector in the developed world and yet if you go to the developing world where people are still carrying water, water is very much women's business. So it's almost as if as we get more technically competent we feel it's unusual to have women in the sector and I think that the challenges that we face as we go forward are not just technical, they're about integrating with our community, they're about listening to our community and I think it's really important that we do that and the only way to do that is to have our water utilities reflect the makeup of their customers. Telling the story of my water utility, the Water Corporation of Western Australia, and we've seen dramatic reduction in the runoff into our dams over the last 15 years. We now get one-sixth of the surface water we used to get. So I was really talking about our approaches to adapting to that and how initially it's about uh, getting more water sources and we've moved towards seawater desalination and recycling of wastewater and injecting it into our aquifers for indirect potable use. And we've tried to do all of those things in an environmentally sound way by using renewable energy where possible and, and uh, making sure that all of our plants operate uh, well within the environment that they're operating in. Uh, but that also increases the cost base to my customers. So I spoke about the work we've been doing to become more productive and more efficient by partnering with the private sector in many ways and by uh, doing a lot of work with our own workforce to release capacity. And then the final part of our puzzle is really working with our customers and making sure that we're listening to our customers and understanding what they want. I think every water utility faces a whole range of challenges. Most of us are owned by uh, political, politically elected uh, governments who operate on a time scale of three, four, five years, and yet we're making decisions about investments that last for 50 or 100 years. So how we work with that in a way that we bring our customers along, we uh, deliver on what our governments and owners want, but we also make the right decisions for the long-term water security of our part of the world. If we're going to adapt to climate change, we have to do more than just focus on the climate issues. We need to look at how we deal with waste, we need to look at land clearing and minimising our footprint. We need to look at the energy sources we use and minimise our energy use. So I think uh, we in the water sector have a great responsibility to our whole communities to keep our whole environmental footprint as small as possible and maybe to move toward restorative things one day.